Hey, hello. I've got this simple question to you and to myself, which is how many times a day do you, do we really make space for what is happening inside? It's so easy to be driven into this is what I need to do, this is the person that I'm talking with and how he should look like. And at the same time, there's like things coming up inside and I'm questioning you. It's like, how, how many times do you really allow what is happening inside to be felt and to be allowed? It's like we're kind of tiptoeing into the surface experience of our lives, connecting with others and doing the dishes and cooking and all of this. And I notice in myself, and I'm wondering if it's the same for you, there is a belief that... Um, it has to be a certain way instead of it is really how it is. So if, for example, I'm cooking and I'm feeling tender or angry and all of this, there is like a voice on my comment says it shouldn't be like this. And, and so it's like there's a tension about it. I'm angry. I shouldn't be angry. And, and there's like a story that happens. And lots of energy is created with this instead of just feeling I'm feeling angry and to allow ourselves to feel it. What is it? What am I angry about and what is behind it? What is my need? And to have this presence where we can, like, um, if we would be a grandparent welcoming the children, it's like, it doesn't matter how a child is feeling or how an adult is feeling. They're just all welcomed. And that's really like the, what we play with in the fooling is that how can I be on stage surrendering and can be on stage like real stage or inside of ourselves. How can we be with what is happening and surrendering to it, allowing like the vulnerability, allowing being pissed off or impatient or, or feeling uh, restless. And to feel it is like a texture, an experience, is like a color. And I notice in myself again and again how I resist what is happening. And what it does is that it just drains us. The, the compulsion to be identified of how things should be instead of surrendering to the textures of the experience of each moment makes it makes us disconnect with ourselves with life force with whatever way you call it and and so i'm questioning like if we're really authentic with ourselves how many times and does it feel really strange and maybe scary to drop the idea of what has to be done right now and stay with what is really happening. I'd love to hear your own experience with it. And I did this video just now because I was feeling nervous. And I realized that my tendency, if I don't catch myself, is to just go over it and not pay attention, ignore it. And when I stay with the nervousness, there was this sweet tenderness that is beautiful, even though if part of me is scared to stay with it. And as I stayed with it, then it just disappeared. It's like a completion. It's like a child that is scared and has the adults to come in the arms and just feel whatever is feeling. And then up, out, is gone again feeling reassured so I'd love to hear how this dance is for you and um, who is knocking at the door in you during the days and who are the ones that there is a tendency and it's so cultural to just push away or to not notice so maybe it is like like I just don't know how to be with that this is really uncomfortable whether it is jealousy or envy or anger or boredom
Mm. I look forward to hear from you if you like to share and blessing us all to practice allowing what is and feed from it like nourish ourselves from it mm. lots of love <laughs> <laughs>